So in this next one, this one will actually, again, following the process that I told you guys to write down, you're going to want to simplify. All right? So you're going to want to apply distributive property. So in doing that, I have 3x minus 3 plus 5 equals 3x plus 2. Then I said apply distributive property, combine like terms. Here I have a negative 5 and a 5 on the same side. Since they're on the same side of the equation, I don't have to use property of equality. I can just combine them, right? When they're on the same side, just combine them. You don't need to like add 3 um, or anything like that. You just combine them. So in doing that, you get 3x um, plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 2. Now, the next thing I said was obtain a variable on the same side, hint make the variable positive. Now, in this case, usually when there's a variable like one is larger than the other, you always want to subtract the smaller variable from the larger one. But in this case, our variables are exactly the same, right? So what happens is if I subtract a 3x, let's, we want to get rid of the 3x on the left side, and I, subtract a 3, I have to subtract the 3x on the right side, I end up with the equation 2 is equal to 2. Well, is 2 equal to 2? Yes, that's true. And what that's going to be is that's going to be true for no matter what the value of x is, it's always going to produce an equation that is true. So that is what we call infinite many solutions. Now, again, just to kind of have you guys check your work, I, I know this is Algebra 2 honors. Um, 